Hello, Algebra fans, and welcome to Unit 3 of Algebra 1. This is Mr. Champlin here, and I am going over Section 3.1, Solving Systems Graphically. And by doing this, we are going to be able to identify a solution to a system of equations by comparing graphs and tables. Understand that systems have one, none, or infinitely many solutions. Graph systems of linear equations and state their solution. All right, well, what's this solution we're talking about? Well, technically, by looking at a graph, all we're doing is looking for a point of intersection between two or more lines. All right, so let's, let's take a look at these three graphs I have right here. Looking at this first one right here, I have two lines that look like they are intersecting at one point. If they only intersect at one point, that means they have one solution. However, look at this graph over here. I'm going to call it number two. That's an ugly two. I apologize. But I'm going to call this graph number two. And notice I have a line on top of another line. And a definition of a line is many, many, many points that create one line. And if you have many points, you can have infinite amount of points. So you have an infinite amount of solutions. Okay, you can even do that. However, let's look at, I'll call this graph three, and we're looking at graph three, and those lines don't touch. What do you call lines that don't touch? Yeah, parallel. And if they're parallel and they don't touch, that means you have zero solutions or no solutions. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. Well, let's, let's, let's do a couple examples here. Example one, state the solution of a system of equations shown below. Look at the first one, already done. And look where the f of x, the blue f of x line and the green f of g of x line intersect and it intersects at the line two, negative three. Okay, let's do another one together. Let's look right here, I'll call this graph two. Uh, we have the green g of x line and it looks like they're intersecting at one point on the fx line. And if you look right here, there's the intersection. And it looks like it is going four to the left on the x-axis and down three on the y-axis. So that would be the point negative four, negative three. All right, friends. Now this one, we had one already finished. One we just did. So for the third one, I'm going to let you try that one on your own. So give it a shot. I got faith in you. Okay, now let's look at example number two. Find the solution of f of x and g of x. Well, f of x is right here on my table. This is my f of x. And g of x is on this graph, right? And it's the line right here on this graph. Well, I know you guys are screaming after unit two. You're like, oh, yeah, let's find the y or the slope intercept uh, form we can make uh, we can find slope by finding the constant rate of change I can feel you just screaming right now let's make a line out of fx you could we definitely could or we could just check the points of line uh, of, of my points right so like if I circle right here negative seven four would be a point so let me just point that on here so I got negative seven one two three four all right oops sorry I would say it's right there. I don't know why I'm not drawing. There we go. I have negative four, three. So negative four, three. Oh, look at that. I got a point there. I have negative one, two. Negative one, two. And then I have two, one. Which two, one would be right here. And I have zero, five. And by that, folks, deal with my perfectly straight line here. I know you guys at home are using a straight edge, but looking at this, it looks like we have one intersection, I would say right here, and that looks like the point of negative four, positive three, right there would be our solution. Okay, guys, you did awesome. Good job on your ad puzzles. Keep up the good work, and I will see you again. This is Mr. Champlin. Have an amazing day.
Thank you very much.